You're late. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know I'm late. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to a new episode of The Garage. What a stressful morning due to the parking and traffic situations. And just imagine what life without would be. How, how much more time you would have if you didn't have to search for parking spaces. You could just park anywhere. Hi, Chris. Hey. I heard you talking about losing time, searching for parking lots. That is right. Alfred Eckert, ladies and gentlemen. He is the head of the Advanced Technology Department, Chassis and Safety at Continental. Alfred, nice to have you with us. Nice being here. Great. Now you come in here all relaxed, all cool. What is your secret? I took this Segway here to demonstrate to you the automated valet parking. Yeah. Valet parking, that's the topic of the day. Now maybe we have to explain to our viewers out there what valet parking actually is. You take the Segway for showing what are the problems yeah, for searching some parking lots. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure you know the situation, you all do too. Yeah. You're late, you're running late, you have like 10 more minutes to check in, and of course you can't find a parking spot. So what do you do? You drive around, you see one, but it's too small. There's another one, but oh, he just got it before. Yeah. So you keep on going and you're searching, the time is running. You're like, I only got five minutes, what am I gonna do? And so, that's really a mess. Yeah. I'm going to hand it over. To the valet. Yeah, now I'm jumping in. I'm the valid one. Yeah. I give you my key. Thank you, and I take care of your car. You're the Segway. Thank you very much. And what do I do in the meantime? I go to the terminal. I can check in while the valet takes care of my vehicle. You can do whatever you want. Searching for a parking lot, find one. Really securing the car. You make a great valet. Nice demonstration of the classic situation, but what about the automated situation? Now, what does that look like? What's the technology behind it? The main thing for that is to get an impression what's going around uh, the vehicle. And for that, I brought with me some samples. So here we have at first the mono camera. It's mounted in front of the uh, vehicle mm -hmm. and looking ahead mm -hmm. to get an impression on the motion of the, of, of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Here we have the surround view cameras. We need four of those yeah, in front, rear and on the side okay. yeah, to sense um, the white markers yeah, for marking the parking lot. You have one to drive in. Yeah, in addition, we need a uh, sensor for the obstacle detection, the short range radar. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of information that's gathered and comes together. Exactly, yeah. Uh, and how do I control my vehicle? How do I get it back? Yeah, the main thing is you're starting with a drop off soon and you can use a mobile app. Oh, really? Try it. Okay, is that, that, that's simple. Yeah, that's simple. All right, so now it's on. Yeah. Activated. And then the car's moving and automatically dropped off. That's the future. That is amazing, and it kind of reminds me of a series from the 80s, if you know what I'm talking about. Alfred Eckert, thank you very much for being here. When this thing is finished, it's going to be amazing, I'm sure of that. But we need one more picture. One, two, three. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. I'm a bit smarter, I hope you are also, thanks to Alfred. And I'll see you again for a new episode of The Garage very soon. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and see you then.